Welcome to In The Box Seat, I'm Ray Fewings, and today our special guest is Damien Mills, an attendant for a very promising young greyhound in She's a Grenade. Also, uh, big, day, big night at uh, Strath on uh, Sunday, some very fast times recorded there, in Serta, uh, over the short distance, a very, very fast performance there, and uh, the two Cameron Butcher, uh, very promising dogs, hopes up, and also right time were absolutely blistering over the, uh, the 400. So, there are a couple you can follow when they do come to town over the longer journey. They've got outstanding early pace and it should stand them in very good stead. Don Turner's uh, sprinters too have been excelling lately over the 500, uh, showing that sometimes these 400 metre dogs can take the step up to the uh, longer distances. What's on around Australia this week? Well, the rest point Hobart 1000 gets underway down there in Tassie. And they've got the heats uh, this uh, Thursday and the final the week after, it's $75,000 for the Hobart 1000. And of course, I can go back to uh, winners like Benjamin John back in the, uh, in the 70s, uh, well, 60s and 70s. Outstanding greyhounds down there in Tassie. Our Chasers face in the crowd. Don't forget if you dine at Chasers Restaurant, we had a big crowd in last week from the Kensington Baseball Club. If your photograph turns up on grsa.com.au on our website, give GRSA a call and claim your prize because it means you've won dinner for two at uh, Chase's Restaurant. That's a damn good prize to win and one uh, we look forward to having you back again and backing a few winners. A feature race is coming up here. We've got uh, on the Thursday night, we've got uh, the heats of the grade four and five veterans. And of course, we've got the final uh, on the Thursday week. And it should give some of our older dogs and we've got some very, very good, well-performed dogs in the old bracket who are going to go for that uh, excellent prize. Now, the Honeys have got some good tips for this week. On Wednesday, race nine, number five, Jokin Cahale. Uh, very capable dog. He's been out for quite a long time. He resumed the other day at Horsham, and he finished down the track. He got five days for injury, but uh, he's resuming here on Wednesday, and the Honeys think that the grade of race that he's in, plus the fact that he's a bit fresh, he should be very hard to beat. And they've gone for race 10, number four, Dancing J-Lo. Her uh, confidence is well and truly up after a couple of uh, excellent wins of the last two Wednesdays over the 600 and the Honeys think that Dancing J-Lo uh, will keep on winning. On Thursday night they've gone for race three number one set the drag. I think he's a pinky but the Honeys reckon that the way he won last start with a blistering 1679 to the back that it really doesn't matter what box he draws. The Honeys think that in that form set the drag can do the job and they've gone for race nine number one fancy fuel it's a low grader but uh, been running very well and uh, the box might well make the difference as far as their first fours uh, in race three one four six and three in race nine one six three and two and the in the box seat for the week is race two number three where's pancho won two out of his last four at headquarters in a blistering early uh, fashion He's got tremendous pace to the first turn, this dog. Sets up the winning lead most times going into the back, and he's a hard dog to beat. So they think uh, Where's Pancho can get straight back into the winner's circle on uh, Thursday night. As far as my dogs to watch, uh, I've got a lot of new dogs uh, among my specials for this week. On Wednesday, event three, number six, a dog by the name of Bura, B-U-H-R-E-R. -E this is uh, Matthew Payne runner. Did trial good enough to win. Uh, a week or so back here at uh, headquarters. And also in race five, number seven, Lily Rocks, a recent Cannington winner in reasonably good time. It's now with Rob Harness, and I think a Wednesday company will suit it right down the ground. On Thursday night, I've gone for race five, number one, Darren Bale. Great early speed. He's won five in a row, and he's drawn to lead and win again. And in race eight, number six, Rawson Reason on an each-way basis. The Fosters have done a good job in uh, reinvigorating this old timer. He's been running in top class lately, and I think each way on Thursday night he can win. Don't forget uh, the Chasers uh, restaurant. Uh, great time to celebrate Christmas with uh, your family and friends. And I'll be back in a moment with Damien Mills to talk about She's a Grenade. One of the keen uh, people in the Greyhound game is Damien Mills, uh, connected, of course, with Alicia Sutherland. and. Uh, He's got a very nice uh, pup he's looking after at the moment by the name of She's a Grenade. Welcome to In the Box Seat. How are you, Ray? But we don't have many El Gallos racing in South Australia. There's, I can reckon I could count the ones that are raced at the moment on one hand, yep. but yours is one of the last two starts. 
Yeah, won up uh, Gola last Sunday and uh, Port Augusta a start before that. Mm. And she's by El Gallo out of Cool to Dust, which of course uh, Katakazi. Uh, John Katakazi borrowed her or off uh, Bob Irvine, so it's a good uh, family and uh, a lot of good dogs in the past out of that breed. Yeah, there is. I don't think much out of a litter at the moment at the track. I know um, there's one up in New South Wales, but struggling to get the struggling to get to 300. So mm, mm. yeah. And uh, over here, I'd, uh, I'd another pup out the litter that only made it to seven months of age, and uh, he's no longer with us. Uh, right. Yeah, I think she'd be one of the only one out of that litter actually at the track. Yeah, I know uh, Bob did have one trialling at Gawler, and its last sectionals were quite all right. And and your greyhound too does look as though it, the 500 won't be a problem. Yeah, early days, about three months back, she uh, her first look at Gawler went 31.52 over the 500. And then the uh, the, the following uh, week trialling, we had a bit of a mishap, and she actually uh, we think she technically died at the track. And uh, really, so, yeah, somebody actually had to um, uh, resuscitate her, and uh, oh, so that that put us back for a, about a month there. And uh, uh, as those that know me, I'm a bit of a keen punter. Uh, mm. We weren't expecting her to win at Gawler on Sunday night. So. Right, well, that's that's a dead and that got up. Yeah, no, it was a it was a bit of a shock. We couldn't work out why they were 15 minutes late back to uh, the hose down bay. So. Right. So uh, did you have an explanation? Did the vet have any ideas? Uh, John sort of just mentioned to us maybe the uh, catcher might have had the lead on too tight. She definitely was ec- <laughs> exceptionally excited before going around the, the uh, first time. And uh, the Boston Strangler. Well. There's a few different theories, and uh, not laying blame on anyone. So it, mm-hmm. it, it happened, and uh, she's all right now. So, but just put us back a bit. In so the, uh, everything else checked out okay. Yeah, everything else checked out fine. No acidosis, nothing mm-hmm. like that. So yeah, now she pulled up fine. Pretty much two days later, but we um just we just gave her an extra month off. Mm. Tell us a bit about Alicia. Uh, are you from down south? Yeah, we're at Woodcroft at the moment. Uh, me and Alicia um got, sort of got into dogs. Uh, probably 12 years ago in Wyla and then uh, we moved up to Adelaide with the kids and then uh, once the sort of kids grew up enough uh, we got back into dogs and sort of normally run three dogs at home Uh, seemed to like to have all the injured ones we only (laughs) ever seemed to have one racing but uh, yeah three dogs at home at the moment so So what else is in the kennel uh, got Jetosaurus which is uh, Mm Leisha's pet favorite I think he's a Facebook uh, favorite of all uh, all the leashes there and uh, so he's on the Facebook is he Jetosaurus oh I think uh, Jetosaurus gets a little bit more love than me, um, <laughs> but he, he did a stopper tendon about six months back, and he, he had his first start back at Port Augusta, um, their last meet, and come back for third. So if he uh, he'll have one or two more races this year, and then we'll be uh, mm. retired. So. Yeah, and what else is there? Uh, got another dog, uh, Black and Blue. Uh, he's a he's got ability, just can't make it to the track at the moment. Mm. Um, Put him on a hand slip on Tuesday night, and uh, he's now got another three weeks off in the, uh, <laughs> and a couple more injured ones over in Melbourne. So, um, right. So, uh, what about uh, she's a grenade? Did we see it at Angle Park soon? Yeah, well, it's in in tonight. It's got got the uh, or last night it was in mm. um, box two. Whether we really don't know where she's at at the moment because um, we've taken a trial down Murray Bridge Straight Track. They we only got a hands on. Mm. We went to Hurley's the following week. Got the uh, Went up a straight track there. We didn't know they didn't have a timer at all. Mm. And then she went out and did what she did at Gola. So we were mm. unknown where she's sort of going to go with it at the moment. But Well, if you're a real punter, you'll you'll just have to take a chance. Yeah, oh, I'm starting to get wiser and not backing <laughs> them every start. Yeah. Well, it's good to talk with you. I hope you crack it for a, a trouble-free run in the, in the near future with your dogs. Yeah. So it's part and parcel of the game, isn't it? The injuries come with the good, fast dogs and... The slowies don't seem to have too much trouble. That's it. Thanks, that Ray. Thank you for talking with us. Damien Mills there, and we wish him all the best with She's a Grenade. Don't forget to join us on Hot Dogs for Breakfast on uh, Wednesday morning, 8 until 9. We've got the man in the tower. He's got all of those uh, sparkling trials from the Wednesday at Gawler and the Tuesday at Angle Park. And, of course, uh, all the information you need on grsa.com.au. All the best. Hope you're back winners as we lead up to Christmas.